In this organic chemistry screencast, we're now going to look at the functional group alkene, the specific molecule being ethylene. In the prior screencast, we looked at an alkane, and which was sp3 hybridized carbons. Now we're going to look at how sp2 hybridized carbons affect the different forms of spectroscopy being IR, proton, and carbon NMR. So ethylene has the molecular formula C2H4 meaning that it has one degree of unsaturation, uh, that being the pi bond. The molecular formula, as determined by mass spectrum, is 28.054 atomic mass units. Notice that the molecule also has no dipole moment, and we can visualize that through this electrostatic potential, where you see it's primarily a green surface, there's a little bit of yellow on the, the top and the bottom, and that's where the, the two overlapping p orbitals that form the pi bond have electron density. So here's, here's the molecule. We're going to look at the IR spectrum, and you can see in the region between 2900 and 3100, so at 31, 32 reciprocal centimeters. We have this asymmetric CH stretching happening. And then we can move over and see at 3027, we have symmetric CH stretching happening. And again, in the IR spectrum, we're not going to be concerned with um, the region below 1500, the fingerprint region. Uh, so we're primarily going to look at three types of regions uh, when we look at different functional groups. This specific alkene functional group is really only CH stretching that we're interested in. So let's look at the proton NMR. And so the molecular formula C2H4 in ethylene, the four hydrogens all form one unique set. And notice now the difference that the chemical shift of those protons is at 5.35 parts per million. So the fact that these hydrogens are bonded to an sp2 hybridized carbon significantly shifts those um, away from what we saw with ethane where the chemical shift was around one part per million. So between about five and six part per million is where you'll see alkene CH proton um, chemical shift. And now if we look at the carbon NMR, we have an sp2 hybridized carbon. Uh, both carbons are the same, so we see one peak. And the chemical shift of that peak on this simulated spectrum is 123.1 parts per million. Again, that's a significant shift away from an sp3 hybridized carbon, which was between about 0 and 20 parts per million. So right now we have means to differentiate the types of proton and types of carbon uh, hybridization based on where those uh, where we observe those peaks in the different types of spectroscopy. So an alkene sp2 hybridized carbon you'll, you'll typically see around 120 to 140 parts per million and then the, the a proton bonded to that sp2 hybridized carbon you'll see between 5 and 7 parts per million in that spectrum.